and while combing my hair now, and wondering what clothes to wear, I say a little prayer for you. Forever and ever, you changed my heart, and I will love you forever. You never were part of how I love you, baby, together. And how it must be to live without you will only be heartache for me. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, your illustrious host, Khadija. Here goes some real, real serious mental stuff. I want to give a shout out um, to a few people this morning and um, thanking them for being there. Thanking them for their support and just dedication to the channel. I really appreciate it. And so for those of y'all who know who I'm talking about, you know. But for those of y'all who don't, I'm sorry, y'all. Let me, let me, let me, let me give a quick. Warm welcome to the channel, to uh, Paulette Robinson, to Jacqueline Griffin, to Tammy Tam 8, and to Sylvia Arnold, uh, Tia Renee Garrett, uh, you know I appreciate y'all for being here, uh, Mount T. Smooth, Lynn Carr, Tanya McCray, Gregory Isaac, and Louisa James. I appreciate having y'all um, over today, and I hope that you will stay. Please, won't you just stay for a little while? Stay. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, y'all, this is a wild, 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 wild story. And uh, uh, let me just get right into it. A wild riot breaks out in New York City synagogue. <laughs> oh my God! Um, after I guess they discovered a tunnel. Uh, and <laughs> oh man, this is insane! I told you it's the crazy howls, y'all. Y'all got to believe me when I tell you. You're pretty much safe, I hope, when you go inside. And that's only for a little while, especially if you're leave, living with a high-conflict person. Then you just in the mental house every which way. Oh, But let me say this. A wild riot broke out in New York City synagogue over a tunnel. Orthodox Jews are dragged away in handcuffs after trying to block construction crew from filling their illicit passageway so they done dug a tunnel over there in new york just like uh hamas done done and uh this is in crown heights wow tunnels beneath the synagogue in the crown heights neighborhood were first discovered in december leading to a nearby disused mikvah or bathhouse structural engineers were summoned by the leadership of the synagogue, who for decades have been loggerheads with a section of the con um, been at loggerheads with a section of the congregation. But young Orthodox Jewish men jumped into the tunnels to block the work. Ten were arrested by NYPD. Oh, my Lord. Oh. What? What? So, y'all thought y'all could build an underground tunnel? Y'all, y'all, y'all out of hand, dude. Y'all are out of hand. You. 
Uh-uh. Uh-uh. They, they got taken away in uh, handcuffs. Ten people were arrested. Local media reported when the New York Police Department was called to quell the uprising. With video cameras rolling to capture the chaos as cast as cops had to clash with the community. Wow, y'all. America is really, really coming to it's, it's coming to an end. This decline is off the chain. The rabbi who runs the synagogue, Yusuf Braun, said the actions of the young men were hor- horrid and a disgrace to the holy site. The dispute is believed to stem from a decade-long schism with the Chabad, one of the largest groups of Hasidic Jews in the world, which pitches the Chabad Lubavitch movement against the synagogue leadership. The two sides, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I didn't, if I screwed it up, I'm sorry, y'all. The two sides apparently disagree over who legally owns a hundred-year-old house which serves as the world's headquarters for the Chabad Lubavitch sect, I'm assuming here. Wow, this is insane. This is insane. Members of the Chabad Lubavitch have been digging tunnels under the synagogue at 77 the Eastern Parkway in the Crown Heights, Crown Heights neighborhood for Brooklyn for many months. The purpose of the tunnel is unclear. The website forward.com reported that it was designed to reach an abandoned woman's mikvah or ritual baths. The website said the tunnel had been dug to expand the synagogue, although it was unclear how it would do so. The tunnels were discovered in December, and the synagogue's leaders called in structural engineers to assess the damage. On Monday, cement mixers arrived to fill the tunnels in, and the young Orthodox men reacted with fury, many of them ripping away the wooden walls and hiding the entrance to the secret tunnels and running them in, uh, running into them to prevent them being filled. The video shared on social media showed dozens of NYPD officers attending the site and trying to push the irate young men back from the entrance to the tunnel. What in Sam's tarnation is really going on? So y'all want to build tunnels now. under? Well... Okay, I'm I'm done. I'm just going to leave it right there. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. If you want to see the full article, it's in the Daily Mail. And it talks about Orthodox Jews building tunnels under the synagogue. Let me know what you think. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Subscribe. Like the video um, so we can continue to move up in the algorithms. Please continue to like the video so that the, um, they, they'll know we're here. Okay? I don't um, discuss that much, but it would be nice to know that y'all know that we in this together. Okay? So like the videos. Share the videos. Engage with the uh, videos. It's okay to listen and watch, but talk to me, baby. All right, I'll see you in the next one.